<laughs> Hello. <laughs> my cameraman is trying to get my attention and I'm here looking, looking at my phone. Hiding, baby. I'm good, honey. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to our live broadcast. My name is Apostle Joseph Helen, and we are coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. This is Trapeza TV, the table of heavenly contents. It's Wednesday, and I'm ready to change your life. Our topic for today is controversial. It says, kill the giants and take back your marriage. Kill the giants and take back your marriage. I'm so privileged to have my beautiful wife with me tonight. How are you doing, my baby? I'm good, honey. It's uh -huh. good to be with you. Wow. You're wonderful. And how are wow. you doing? I'm doing great. Mm -hmm. Very happy. Mm -hmm. Thanking God for the revelation that he gives us and especially because he cares for our families and cares for marriages. So we're going to help you rescue your relationship and those of you who have a great relationship, we're going to help you secure that which is good. You see, in the kingdom of God, you consolidate and secure. You have to guard that which God has given you. So if you have a wonderful relationship, you have a wonderful marriage, and it's flourishing, and it's beautiful, blossoming, and all that, we will teach you to guard and protect and secure that marriage. If your marriage is on the rocks, don't you worry, we'll help you get out of trouble. If you're yet to get married and you've heard all manner of crazy stories about how marriages don't work nowadays, we're going to give you ammunition to deal with this giant, okay? And if you're about to give up, come on, come on, give it another go, give, give, it, give it another chance, okay? Don't just quit so easily like that, all right? You have overcome many difficult things in the past you can sort this one out too, okay? If you have tried to get married and it never worked, we're also going to help you find out what it is that has made it difficult for you to get a good marriage, okay? Glory to Jesus. My wife is looking all so beautiful and... Um, Thank you, honey. Yeah, she just has this beautiful sense of style. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank so, you. So what color is this? This is what? Shade of, of brown? Shade of brown, like a truffle. Like a truffle and, and black. And black. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, so the top is latte. latte. And then truffle. truffle. And black. Oh, okay. Wow, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Mm -hmm. All right, so I can see Franz Nguepe is online. God bless you, my wonderful, wonderful son. He says, good evening, ready to be built. And I can see Felix Ogutu is online too. Most welcome. Dennis Koira is online as well. He says, you all look wonderful and beautiful. Thank you so much. You're amazing. And he says up there, let's murder the giants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going to annihilate them. Mm. All right, exterminate them. Mm. Glory to Jesus. So why am I talking about giants? Um, I'll take you straight to the word of God. That's where all the wisdom is found. So let's go to the book of uh, Genesis chapter 6. Please invite your friends. As we go to Genesis chapter 6, invite your friends. Tell them the Apostle of Love is online. And I love you guys so much. Hallelujah. You are wonderful. You're lovely. You're God's precious possession. You're the apple of God's eyes. Anyone who touches you is touching the apple or the pupil of God's eye. Definitely God is going to defend you. Glory to Jesus. Okay, so let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 6. And I'm going to read from verse 1. And the Bible says, And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. Now it's good to understand that Adam and Eve got Cain and Abel. Those are the only children mentioned because God Almighty works in two ways in parallel. God Almighty works in parallel. Every time he does something, he works with the firstborn and the secondborn. Firstborn and the secondborn. He will rarely talk about any other unless the firstborn and the secondborn do not follow his way, in which case he look for someone else. So in Genesis, uh, Cain and Abel are mentioned, but that does not mean there were no other children. You've got to understand that Adam lived for over 900 years. And in 900 years, you can imagine how many children they would have got. God gave them the instructions 
to procreate and to fill the earth. You understand? Mm -hmm. So God always deals in two. So Cain and Abel, Esau and Jacob. Are you seeing how God works? Yeah. yeah. He keeps working like that. First Adam, second Adam. It's always like that. Okay? In twos. It's always working in twos. All right? So the most important ones he'll talk about are the ones that are directly in the lineage of Jesus and the ones that are directly in opposition to the lineage of Jesus. So sometimes I get asked, where did uh, Cain get a wife, for example? You know, because people think that there are only two people, um, Cain and Abel, and then Cain kills Abel. So there's only one guy called Cain. No, that's the one mentioned in the Bible. Remember, the Bible is, is a syn synoptic book. It's a summary, a book of summaries. That's why uh, they say that if everything were written in the Bible, mm -hmm. even the whole world would not contain the script. Mm -hmm. So the Bible is a summary that points towards two things. First Adam, then the last Adam. Okay? The law and grace. Mm -hmm. Remember Ishmael and Isaac as well. So Ishmael is mentioned and Isaac is mentioned because Ishmael stands for the law, Isaac stands for grace. So that's how God works. Okay? The Old Testament, the New Testament. The letter of the law that kills, the grace of God that brings life. The spirit of life in Christ Jesus and the law of the spirit of, of, of you know, the law of sin and death. It's always in twos. So this is why Adam um, and Eve give birth to Cain and Abel. And the Bible says they also got daughters, mm -hmm. if you continue reading. But the daughters are not mentioned, you see, yeah. because they are not significant in the lineage of Jesus Christ insofar as the law and grace are concerned. So the people mentioned consistently in the Bible are those who deal with law and grace. How are you getting it? Law and grace. There is Peter that uh, denied Jesus. And then there is Judas that betrayed Jesus. Do you see? Always in tools. Okay? Glory to God. So the Bible says that daughters were born to them. Hallelujah. Uh, I can see Daisy Quinga is online saying amen. God bless you, my dear. Love you so much. I can see Jathan is online. God bless you. He says uh, he's watching the fashion sense and it's welcoming and the love is warm. <laughs> God bless you. You're amazing. Brian Mugenyu, my son, says, Mr. Bula, he says, these things must die. We've got to annihilate them completely. My marriage must work in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God, your confession is coming to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you guys. Okay, so Genesis 6 verse 2 says that after daughters were born to them, that the sons of God, who are these? The sons of God, Ben Elohim, that's what they're called. The sons of God, so the daughters of men, that they were beautiful and they took them wives of all which they chose okay i'll explain we are dealing with giants and we're dealing with your marriage and we are dealing with destroying giants and taking back your marriage okay all right so these were um the bible says the sons of god ben elohim these are spiritual beings they saw the daughters of adam Daughters of men. Men there is Adam. The word is Adam. The daughters of Adam. Mm -hmm. These were daughters of who? Adam. Adam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you getting me now? Yeah. Where people start asking, so where did Cain get a wife from? And all. Adam had so many daughters. Wow. And the Bible says some of those daughters are the ones that these angels took. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Yeah. Thank you for that revelation. <laughs> yeah, most people don't know this thing. Yeah. Because they just read the English version. And the English version, honey, is so limited. Yeah. So the Bible says the sons of God, Ben Elohim, sons of God, which is another word for angels of God. And the sons of God tend to look like human beings. Mm. They tend to operate like human beings. Yeah? Yeah. And the Bible says that they saw the daughters of Adam... Men there is actually the Hebrew word Adam. Okay? They saw the daughters of Adam that they were fair, they were beautiful, good, tob, T-O-B now. In the book of Proverbs 18, 22, um, one of our favorite scriptures. Yeah. The Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a what? 
tob, good thing. Yeah. 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 A woman who is ready for marriage is referred to as T-O-B in Hebrew, good. The word good there means positioned for greatness. Yeah. Strategically positioned for greatness. Mm -hmm. So he who finds a woman finds a good thing, tob. And here, Beatrice Angel says, I'm here. God bless you, my dear. Please invite your friends. These people keep telling us, oh, man of God. Pray for my marriage, man of God. I'm not getting a marriage partner. Oh, man of God, do this, do that. Invite them so they can get help. Your problem in your marriage relationship or your problem in your inability to enjoy your marriage is called giant. And I'm going to prove it to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the Bible says they found them to be tob, T-O-B. Yeah. The same way he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So these angels took the shape of men. Mm -hmm. So they had physical flesh. All right, they became like human beings, and angels are known to be like that, mm -hmm. like the angels that visited Abraham yeah. and actually ate. They washed their feet and they ate. They acted exactly like men. Mm -hmm. You see, so there are many occasions in the Bible where angels actually ate with people. Yeah. They sat with people, talked with people, and ate with them. Yeah. All right. Now, so the Bible says they took them wives of all which they chose. So they went to the daughters of Adam. Mm -hmm and chose women from there. Why were they doing this? I will tell you why these angels decided to choose the daughters of men. I can even tell you the names of the angels, but that's not important right now. So, when Adam and Eve sinned, by listening to the serpent, listening to the devil, the devil injected thoughts in Eve's mind by use of the spirit of divination, that's the spirit of the snake yeah. or the spirit of the python. And this snake, by use of divination, communicated spiritually to Eve. And Eve believed Lucifer. Mm -hmm. And that belief, mm -hmm. you see, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, this faith that Eve had mm -hmm. came by hearing and hearing from the serpent, from the mm -hmm. snake. So she ate the fruit by believing. Mm. The actual eating of the physical fruit was merely like a baptism you get when you believe in Christ Jesus. Right. Okay. Yeah. So the eating of the fruit was not the problem. The problem was her believing it. Mm. The moment she believed it like this, she conceived the seed of the serpent. Oh Remember mm -hmm. the Bible says, mm -hmm. That you are born again, not of corruptible seed. Mm -hmm. So that means you can be born of corruptible seed. Wow. Okay? <laughs> but yeah. incorruptible seed, which is the word of God that lives and abides forever. Mm -hmm. So Eve immediately conceives. Mm -hmm. And what does she give birth to? Cain. The seed of the serpent. <laughs> are you getting it? Wow. Uh-huh. Amazing. So she believes mm. and conceives the word mm. and when Adam comes and lies with her, what is conceived in her womb, unlike Mary, mm. Mm, is a murderer. Okay? Yeah. A guy who goes and go, goes against God's instructions mm. to sacrifice animals. Mm. He instead brings uh, carrots <laughs> and, and cabbages. <laughs> Before God. Yeah. And a sacrifice ought to be a blood sacrifice. Yeah. Especially after people have sinned. Mm. And then when uh, Abel offers the right sacrifice, mm. he's moved with jealousy. The nature of the devil, the nature of the serpent. Yeah. You see, Satan was against Adam and Eve because they took his place. He was mm. out of envy that he messed up Adam and Eve. Out of envy, he introduced death. Mm. Now the Pharisees, the Bible says, out of envy, killed Jesus. Same, same thing. Huh? Oh, my. <laughs> oh my God, let me help somebody here. Glory to Jesus. Uh -huh. Fran says, is God talking through your utter? I was wearing the same way today, but subtract the bars on the, on the shirt. Then it's, it's how I was wearing today. Yeah, we see we have <laughs> the same spirit. So we're going to start looking alike, sounding alike, talking alike. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. When you hear somebody for a long time, their spirit enters you. Mm -hmm. This is how the spirit of Lucifer entered Eve, because Eve listened to his preaching. Yeah. So the spirit enters you, you start acting the same way, you start succeeding the same way, you start having joy the same way. Mm -hmm. To some extent, you might even start sounding the same. Yeah. 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 
Are you people getting this? So we are born not of corruptible seed. What book is that? First Peter what? Peter 1. 123. Yeah. Born, uh, being born again, not of corruptible seed. So that means you can be born of corruptible seed. Yeah. So Satan wanted to corrupt the seed of the woman. Mm. Then God came in and said to the woman, your seed will crush the head of the serpent. Mm. Yeah? yeah? But the serpent will do what? Bruise your heel. Mm. Do you know something? Where Jesus was crucified, or oh, it's called Golgotha, which means the skull of Goliath, the giant. Mm. So the foot of Jesus on top of that hill called Golgotha, where the skull of Goliath was buried by David. Yeah. Remember David cut the neck and buried it there. Mm. Jesus was crucified on top of that place. Yeah. That's where they pierced his heels, mm. but his foot crushed Amen. Lucifer. Romans 16, 19 says, be excellent in all things good. Mm and innocent in evil, mm -hmm. and then the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath your foot. Amen. Hmm. Are you getting that? So, it is, it is this battle against the giant. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. So, Lucifer fails. He gives birth to Cain, and Cain does not become a giant. Yeah. He just becomes a murderer. Yeah. And Lucifer says, no, it doesn't end here. Uh -huh. So, he says, this time round, I will not just talk. This time around, I'm sending them to sleep with the daughters of Adam oh, to produce a real seed of the serpent. Yeah. So the Bible says the sons of God mm. come down, the ones that followed Lucifer, the ones that rebelled with him, mm. they come down mm. and they choose daughters of, of Adam. Mm. And the Bible says they, they chose the beautiful ones mm. and they slept with them. And these women conceived and gave birth to giants. Mm. And giants are called the seed of the serpent. Mm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these same demonic spirits are still looking mm. for the daughters of men to make them pregnant so that they can give birth to the Antichrist. They are still looking for it. Mm. Okay, so if you read Genesis chapter 6, uh, from verse 3 of the Bible says that the Lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be 120 years they were so messed up that God cut down their years mm -hmm. from 900 mm -hmm. going to 1000 yeah. to 120 because of the wickedness that was on the face of the earth mm -hmm. that these giants became so huge you know you can imagine a giant that's 3 meters tall 3 meters up yeah? really some of them are going up to 15 meters high and the Bible says they ate everything that was on the face of the earth and they were in their billions. Mm. They filled the earth. Mm. So the flood of Noah was destroying billions. Mm. Not just a few. They filled the earth and they began to eat each other. And they began to drink blood. They began to do crazy things. So mm. the flood of Noah comes and the giants are swept out of the face of the earth. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. God starts again. So he has the giants mm. versus Noah. Okay, yeah. Abram comes during the days of Noah. Mm. Are you getting me? So after Noah comes out, ah, Jesus, of the ark, I'm going to teach you really quickly so that I teach you how to destroy the giants. Because the giants are the ones against family. They're the ones against marriage. Mm. In fact, just quickly, they're the ones we call spiritual spouses today. Mm. And I'm going to show you how to destroy them. Okay? Yeah. So Noah comes out of the ark and having come out of the ark he gives birth to three kids mm. three children okay yeah. now number one child he gives birth to Shem mm. and then to Jap to Cush or Ham mm. Shem Ham and Japheth yeah. all right now Shem this is something most people don't know mm. Shem was white in color mm. all right Japheth was olive in color. Mm. Ham was black in color. So this is where you get all the different races from. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Now, Ham was not black because of sin. Mm. Some people think that black people are black because they did something crazy. No. It was God's design because God always liked to act like that. Mm. Yeah? I, I need you to understand that not all angels are white. There are angels that are purple. There are angels that are green. There are angels that are black. Oh my God. Mm. There are angels that are white. 
the angels that are red, the angels that are amber, the angels that are golden. You see, yeah. there are different colors of angels. You see, there are angels that are blue, mm -hmm. like angel Zadkiel is purple in color. Mm -hmm. You see, and angel uh, Gabriel operates a bluish hue. Mm -hmm. Angel, um, the angel responsible for, he for healing, Raphael, is green. Mm -hmm. See, if the angel appears, you see a green body. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So not angels, angels are not all white. So God did not want human beings to be of the same color. Adam was red, not white. Adam, where the Swahili people get Damu from. Damu is blood. Yeah. Now understand, Adam is also the same as Adam, Esau. Red in color. Yeah. You see? And Jacob was a different color, olive. Wow. Okay? But Esau was red. Adam from Adam meaning red. Mm. In fact, his body was red and hairy, yeah. like the giant. Oh. Do you get that? So the giant has always been there. A giant is born called Esau, and another one called Jacob is born. Who is not a giant? Who is normal? Mm. You see? Yeah. So David comes and there's Goliath. Mm. You see how it goes? Yeah. To date, we still have the giants, but let me explain that as we go <laughs> along. So Noah gives birth to? To Shem meaning a name. Yes. Yeah, somebody with a great name. And then Japheth, expansion. Mm. Yeah? Mm. And then and then Ham, mm. black. Mm. Ham is the one who gave birth to Kush, meaning black. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So the black people came from Ham, the olive people, the Asians and the Jewish people from East and Far East and on Asian countries. Mm. That is what that is um Japheth. Yeah. Yeah. And then um and the first one, Shem, mm. guys going towards Europe. Mm. You get it? The ones that went towards Europe. Mm. So that's how the world got all these different races, okay? Then Adam drinks. Mm. Why did he drink? Because the devil came to attack him again. Mm. And after Adam drinks, what happens? Not Adam, mm -hmm. Noah. Mm -hmm. After Noah drinks, yeah. he gets drunk mm -hmm. and he's out there sprawling, stuck naked mm. all right yeah so who was naked in the garden of eden adam, adam. you see what's going on you see this the game the devil is playing here yeah then kush or ham mm. the father of kush comes and i don't want to say exactly what happened okay mm. but he mocked the father yeah. and when the father became sober he realized the bible says what the son had done to him he realized what the son had done to him. I don't want to go into details, but read between the lines, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. What the son had done to him. Mm. Here's where Sodom and Gomorrah and their behavior comes in. Oh because Sodom and Gomorrah was during the days of Noah mm. and Abraham. Yeah. Ah. And the seed returns oh. of the serpent. And the giants return. Mm. That's where you get people like Goliath. The Canaanites were all giants. Mm. The Jebusites, the Gigashites, they were all giants. Yeah. Even some, some descendants of Esau were giants mm. that the Israelites had to destroy later. Mm. Giants returned through something to do with Sodom. Let me just leave it there. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So who are these giants? And why is the devil acting like this? Because he wants a seed of the serpent mm. he wants the seed of the devil yeah. but god the bible says looking for a holy seed if you read the book of malachi chapter 4 that you mm. you've done you've acted treacherously against your you know the wife of your youth yeah. yet he is looking for what a holy seed please read it for me mm -hmm. yeah um malachi chapter 4 mm. he's looking for a holy seed but the devil is looking for a wicked seed mm. the seed of the serpent yeah. okay mm. Now, what happened? Let me explain to you. What happened when this giant in their billions died during the flood? Because the giants were born out of angels and human beings, they couldn't go to heaven, neither could they go to hell. So they were left on the face of the earth as disembodied beings. Daimonion. Daimonion in Greek means a spirit that used to have a body but no longer has a body or a ghost. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So these are the demons you're dealing with today. Mm -hmm. 
They came from the giants. Mm. Now, what was the desire of the giants? Their desire was to populate the earth with the seed of the serpent. Mm. So these same demons still want to marry women today. Which is why we have to destroy them. Because when they marry a woman, then it's impossible for that marriage to be peaceful anymore. We call them spiritual spouses. Or spiritual husbands, spiritual wives. When that demon is in a woman, she becomes impossible to love. You look at her face and she looks like a man. Someone else looks at the same face and finds it beautiful. Are you getting that? She looks beautiful, but when the husband looks at her face, the husband thinks, why do you look crazy? You look like an old man, not like a woman. These spirits make women act in a masculine manner. So they act like men. And that makes husbands and wives to clash. When this spirit is upon a man, it makes the man not satisfied with the wife. So the man wants to get as many women as possible because the spirit in the man also wants to fertilize as many women as possible to get the wicked seed Mm. like Cain, like the giants. Mm. You see, these spirits, whether a husband or a wife, will cause fights and contentions within the marriage, within the family. Mm. These spirits will cause financial problems. These spirits will bring sicknesses. In fact, Mm. most sicknesses that men go through, like prostrate cancer, are caused by these same giants. Sicknesses like um, cancer of the cervix, Mm. cervical cancer, uh, breast cancer, fibroids are caused by these spirits. Mm. And fibroids are actually a failed fertilization of the egg of the woman Mm. so that the implantation is just a mass of white cells. They want a child. You see? Mm. Oh my God. Mm. If you're listening, this is going to help you marry. Mm. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to destroy this spirit. Mm. This is the spirit that operated in Jezebel Mm. when Ahab was king. And this spirit is also called the queen of heaven. Mm. If I, let's go to the book of Jeremiah 7 and verse 18. Did you get that scripture? Uh, no, Malachi. Yeah, Malachi. Let me just check. Yeah. Jeremiah 7 verse 18. The Bible says, And the children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their door to make cakes with the queen of heaven. This spirit now is called the queen of heaven. The leader of the giants is called the queen of heaven. Mm. Sitting astride the moon. And all religions that worship the Queen of Heaven have something to do with polygamy. Yeah. They permit and accept polygamy. Yeah. Now, all, all religions that worship the Queen of Heaven, mm-hmm. you'll find that in their religious practice, there's something to do with the moon and the star. Mm-hmm. You see? Yeah. yeah. In Mesopotamia, mm-hmm. one of the reasons why Laban gave Jacob two women was because they were moon worshippers. Mm-hmm. They were under the queen of heaven, the leader of the giants, the leader of spiritual spouses and spiritual husbands, spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. Oh my. Jesus. Let me see who we have here. Victorious Robertson says, hope I'm not so late. No, you're right in time. And Evelyn says, powerful. Mike has sent us a love heart. God bless you. We love you. Hallelujah. Please tell your friends that we are changing marriages. We are transforming relationships. Glory to God. Oh, you know, nice. This is the first time I'm, I'm seeing I'm seeing the the video. It looks good, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mr. Nzomo, this thing looks nice, man. Huh? Wow. Glory to God. So, the Bible says, They pour out drink offerings unto other gods to the queen of heaven, that they may provoke me to anger. You see? And then verse 19, Do they provoke me to anger, says the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to confusion? These spirits bring shame, confusion. Now, if you look at uh, um, Jeremiah 44, verse 18, let me read that quickly. Uh, Did you get it? Yes, I did. We'll come to yours. So just, yeah, just hold on to it. (laughs) Jeremiah 44, 18, the Bible says, But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by famine. Now, let me explain something to you. Before you got saved, everything seemed to be okay. But when you got saved, that's when your marriage started getting into trouble. That's when you started having financial issues, started having diseases. Because you stopped offering 
oblations to the Queen of Heaven. Mm -hmm. According to your culture, it was okay to offer drink offerings to the Queen of Heaven. Mm -hmm. And for those who are modern, they pop the champagne mm -hmm. bottle and pour it out. It's called um, a drink oblation. Mm -hmm. Still to the Queen of Heaven. Yeah. So such people, even when they have spiritual spouses, they are not affected. Mm -hmm. But the moment you start serving God, they are saying here that since we left off burning incense to the Queen of Heaven mm -hmm. and pouring out drink offerings unto her, we have been in poverty and you have been consumed by diseases and sickness and famine. Mm -hmm. And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men that even our husbands were participating? So you find when people stop doing witchcraft, when they stop um, following the ancestral demons mm -hmm. and they become Christians, that's when hell breaks loose. Why? Because the seed, the, the seed of the serpent mm -hmm. was okay with you before. Mm -hmm. You are perpetuating a wicked generation. Mm -hmm. So the, these demons didn't have to fight you. Mm -hmm. But the moment you became saved, they said, no way. We're going to fight you the same way Goliath fought David. Mm -hmm. We're going to fight you the same way that the, uh, the Canaanites fought the Israelites. Mm -hmm. We're going to fight you the same way Ishmael fought Isaac. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful thing is that David destroyed this giant. Mm -hmm. Buried his head mm -hmm. on the hill of Gol Goliath, Golgotha. Yeah. Jesus, the seed of the woman, destroyed that spirit. Mm -hmm. So I came here to tell you that now that you're saved and this demon is all over you, messing you up, mm -hmm. causing you not to love your wife, causing you not to love your husband. Mm -hmm. It is contention and fights day in, day, day out. In the night you're fighting. In the morning you're fighting. And the only time you're happy is when you're the wrong person. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. The name of Jesus, the power that destroyed the giant on that mount where Jesus was crucified, mm -hmm. Golgotha, that same name is going to destroy the giant from your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we're going to destroy these spiritual spouses once and for all. Mm -hmm. So that we can restore joy and peace and happiness and fulfillment in marriage. Mm -hmm. Because marriage is a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's a favorable thing. Mm -hmm. Francis, and I quote, Satan needs blood to produce 3,000 demons per day. I heard certain bishops say this while we were talking the word of God. Is there... Is any correction here? Okay. The Bible does not give us the number of demons Satan needs to produce. Mm. But demons came from giants. And these giants interfered with the DNA of creation. Mm. And that's how you end up with an elephant. That needed not, it was, elephant was not originally created with a trunk. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mermaids came from the, uh, that particular time. Half angel, half fish. Mm. Yeah. Angels that were trapped in the water because of the giants. So you have a mermaid or a siren. All those things were products of the giants. Yeah. All these crazy creatures that you find some creatures in the ocean and you can see they look like demons. Yeah. And you see some creatures on the face of the earth and they look like demons. Mm. So they were not like an, a hyena. The mm. hyena was a product of the giants. Because mm. a hyena is a hermaphrodite, yes. both male and female. There's a season when a hyena is male and then a season where it turns into female. Mm. You see. That's exactly like spiritual spouses. That's exactly like spiritual spouses. Mm. If they are in a woman, they are male. Mm. If they're in a man, they are female. Hyena spirit. And now you've, you've leaked it to them. I didn't want to tell them. <laughs> spiritual spouses are hyena and the dog spirit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah. So Mike says, Vice of the, the verse for the Queen of Heaven. Um, this is uh, the book of Jeremiah 7 18 mm. and Jeremiah 44. Verse 18 as well. Yeah. Verse 20, Jeremiah 44. Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, and to all the people that had given him the answer, saying, The incense that you burned in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, you and your fathers, your kings and your princes, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them, and came it not into his mind. Now, I want you to understand that when you see a husband and a wife who are not saved, who do not serve God, and they look happy, they hold hands together, they don't seem to have any problem. Mm -hmm. Like your grandfather and grandmother didn't seem to have any problem. They were just happy with each other, grew old together, lost teeth together, mm -hmm. fell asleep together, snored together, woke up together, mm -hmm. chased flies together with a fly whisk. They just seem to be okay because they used to offer the, the oblation, drink offerings. Mm -hmm. 
to the queen of heaven. Yeah. But when you get saved, then the giants rise and they want to fight you. Mm. The same way the Israelites were fighting against the Egyptians. Mm. The Egyptians were the products of the giants. Mm. You see? Yeah. Are you people getting it? So when this battle arises, you have to do what David did. You have to use the word of God. The solid rock, his name is Jesus, the gospel of peace, to destroy this spirit. Okay? So giants are the demons we cast out all the time. They, they, they are so bloodthirsty. And they operate mostly with women in their periods. They cause a woman to be moody. And they cause a woman to, to be depressed. And during that time, the woman looks crazy. She doesn't look normal. And that's the time when men are moved to look for other women. Mm. Are you getting that? Yeah. So this spirit wants the man's seed to produce the seed of the serpent. Mm. And they want the woman's womb to conceive the seed of the serpent. Mm. So this is what has been destroying marriages all these years. Mm. The giants. Yeah. Tonight I'm going to teach you to destroy the giants in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You see, mm. uh, now just read for us the book of Malachi chapter 4 and verse 13. It's, it's, oh. Okay, take it from verse 14. So, I mean Malachi 2. Okay, it's Malachi 2. Malachi Sorry, I said Malachi 4, but it's Malachi 2. Malachi 2 verse 14. Yeah. Yet he say, mm -hmm. Wherefore, because the Lord has been a witness between you and the wife of your youth. He's been a witness between you and the wife of your youth. Against whom you have dealt treacherously. That you've dealt treacherously against the wife of your youth. God does not want issues between husbands and wives. Mm. He wants peace. He wants love. And if there's no peace, there's no love, he calls it treachery. Mm -hmm. Treachery against the wife of your youth. Why is it that there's treachery? Because of these spirits. Yeah. These demons that are contrary to a man loving a woman mm -hmm. and a woman loving the man and peace prevailing. Mm -hmm. Why does God want peace between husbands and wives? Mm -hmm. Why? Keep okay. reading. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yet she is the companion and the wife of your covenant. Read that again slowly. Yet she is what? Yet she is thy companion. Yet she is thy companion. The woman is your companion. Mm -hmm. So companion. Who is called companion in the New Testament? There is called a fellowship, communion, mm -hmm. koinonia. Mm -hmm. Fellowship of the Holy. Holy Spirit. But what brings treachery in marriage? Mm -hmm. Fellowship of the giant spirit. Mm -hmm. Evil spirit, spiritual mm. husband, spiritual wife. Yeah. Their fellowship brings treachery mm. within a marriage. Yeah. Are you getting that? Mm. Carry on, baby. And the wife of your covenant. And the wife of your covenant. That there is a covenant that connects you together. But the devil brings treachery here. Mm. Another fellowship, which is not the fellowship of the spirit. Yeah. It's not a union mm. of companionship. Mm. It is a union of fights, strife. You know, people are just not pleased with each other. Mm. And then they start saying marriages don't work anymore. No, it's the demonic ones that don't work. Mm. The ones that are under the fellowship of the Holy Spirit must work. Mm. And I'm going to teach you how. Let's mm. carry on. And did he not make you one? Did he not make the wife and the husband one? Yet he had the residue of the Spirit. He has a residue of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Which in the, the New Testament, we, we call it the earnest of the Spirit, the deposit of the Spirit. Which Spirit? The Holy Spirit. The devil also has this earnest deposit, a residue. And this residue is what we call spiritual spouse and spiritual, spiritual wives and spiritual husbands. Mm. Because there's a seed required here. Carry on. And wherefore one? Why does he make them one? That he might seek a godly seed. That he might seek a godly seed. The devil has his mm. deposit too, mm. which brings an ungodly seed. Mm. So you have the Hitlers, you have the crazy guys mm. that did crazy things. They, they have so much, so much influence, but they're crazy. Yeah. You know, Idi Amin Dada, for example. Mm. Those are the seeds of the serpent you're talking about. Mm. So the devil has his way of putting a seed in a woman's womb, mm. or influencing the seed of a man to produce a crazy bee. But God wants a holy seed. Mm -hmm. How do we achieve this? Mm -hmm. First, I need to explain to you that these spiritual spouses bring filthy dreams to people. People dream that they're having sex with uh, sometimes a faceless bee, mm -hmm. or sometimes somebody you can see. Of course, it's not the real person. It's a demon pretending to be that person. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. 
And that is actual sexual intercourse. Mm. And there is a deposit of a seed inside the woman mm. or a deposit of the seed of a man inside a womb mm. of a spiritual woman. Yeah. Do you get that? Yeah. Jude 1. What, what verse is it? That says the fifth dream is Jude 1 verse 8. Just read for me Jude 1 verse 8. Jesus. Let me help these guys. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jude 1 8. <clears throat> Jude 1 verse 8, please read it for me. Likewise also, these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. These filthy dreamers defile what? The flesh. The flesh. Remember, a child is flesh of my flesh and bones of my bones. Yeah. But when you have the filthy dreams, mm -hmm. okay, let me give them <laughs> the, the Greek word for filthy dreamer. Yeah, enupniazomai. All right, sensual images, sexual dreams, sensual images inside your dream, and they're called filthy dreams caused by these giants. And the Bible says the result defiled flesh. What is God looking for? A holy seed. So what is the way out? What are we going to do? Deliverance is the way out. We have to cast these spirits out. Because these spirits will stop you from getting married if you are single. And if you defeat them and you still get married, they'll stop you from having peace in your marriage. Yeah? If you defeat them and you stay on, they'll ensure that that particular marriage produces an ungodly seed. Somebody that moves towards the Antichrist. A seed contrary to Jesus. Yeah. Do you get that? So the way out, how you're going to destroy this spirit, these giants, to take back your marriage is deliverance. Make sure you're delivering yourself every single day. Mm -hmm. And I taught you how to deliver yourself. Breathe in and out for about 15 minutes. Vigorous leg. <sighs> As you do that, the spirit of God enters you. Mm -hmm. And the demonic spirits come out of you. Deliverance is the way. There's no other way. You have to cast them out because they're in your body. How did they enter your body? Through your ancestors that were offering oblations to the queen of heaven. Your ancestors that were sacrificing to demons. They found a way. And then when, you, when your, great, your grandfather was born, the demons were transferred. Because they, that's called an unholy seed. This is why we want people saved. Because you're born an unholy seed. A child of the serpent. You see, mm -hmm. Adam, the Bible says, was a life, a, a living soul. Mm -hmm. Jesus, a life giving spirit. So one brought death. Mm -hmm. The serpent seed brought death. That's what brought death in the Garden of Eden, the seed of the serpent. Mm -hmm. So before you're saved, you were the seed of the serpent. Mm -hmm. When you got saved, yes, you were given a new spirit, but your flesh was still defiled. Mm -hmm. So deliverance is what purifies your flesh. You breathe in and out vigorously and you say every evil spirit, every seed of the serpent, every defiling power of the flesh in my body come out in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And as you breathe in and out, you'll start feeling heat in your tummy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes your fingers might get numb. Sometimes you may feel dizzy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may feel nauseated. You may feel like burping. You may feel like coughing and sudden itch comes upon your throat. Mm -hmm. This is the power of delivering people. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Mike says, this is the university of God. One day, <laughs> how to get the degree. <laughs> if you get rid of these spiritual spouses, you'll find your marriage is peaceful. Mm. These spiritual spouses cause children to cry and they call it colic. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They cause children to cry and cry and cry. A child cannot sleep in the night. Mm. Put your... your your hand on the tummy of that child say, you spiritual spouse, demons that are oh, originated from giants, come out of my child in Jesus' name. And you find your child sleeping well. Mm -hmm. They make kids rebellious. Yeah. Children start throwing tantrums, ever crying, ever moody, mm -hmm. not wanting to listen to instructions. They make the seed rebellious, mm -hmm. an unholy seed. Yeah. This is what causes young people to rebel against their parents. To rebel against a society. Mm. They, they end up in strikes. They are the same spirit that caused people to take drugs and to become alcoholics. Mm. 
They are the very same spirit that bring depression and suicidal thoughts. Mm. Same, same spirit. Yeah. Spiritual spouses. They're the same demons that make people broke. You're working so hard, but you're not seeing anything out of your finances. Mm. They're the same demons that bring people into debt. Mm. You're always in debt. You can't seem to come out of debt. Mm. But, ah, by the time I'm done with you, Jesus, you will be free from these demons in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you kidding me, you people? The giants are still there, but now they're in spirit form. You can't see them. Mm. And they're still looking for women to marry. And when they get a man, it becomes easy because the man can get a woman. Yeah. They make men smooth talkers. Mm. So a woman can't resist you. You say one a few words and the woman just wants you. Makes you a smooth talker. They're called spiritual spouses or giants. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You, you just find yourself, they're also the same demons responsible for masturbation and pornography. Yeah? Remember, sensual images, enupniazomai. Yeah. Sexual images, isn't that pornography? Yeah. <laughs> they yeah? defile the flesh. And they defile your flesh. So you end up masturbating. Mm. These are called spiritual spouses. You kick them out if you're serious, that is. If you're not serious, they are sticky. They don't want to come out of your body. Mm. They are sticky. By the way, they look like snakes. Exactly like snakes. If you see them in the spirit, mm. they are snakes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. They are very same serpent from the Garden of Eden. Honey, so this serpent spirit, the way it speaks to women is the, through the power of suggestion. Yes. To the mind. Power of suggestion to the mind. Mm. With images. Mm. It uses images. Th this spirit loves to use movies mm. to talk. Yeah. And women love movies, especially romantic movies. So they inject thoughts into your system. Mm. The same, same way they injected thoughts into the system of Eve. Yeah. And then after Eve had believed, she took the communion, mm. the fruit. Yeah. You see? I see. Uh -huh. So this is the spirit that makes people masturbate. And after you've masturbated, you feel filthy because they def they've just defiled your flesh. Mm. Yeah? yeah? They cause you to watch pornography and then you masturbate. Then you feel filthy. You feel so dirty after that. They cause you to be a smooth talker. You're able to get anyone. You sleep with whoever. You don't even have to work hard. Because the demons have supernatural power to attract the person you want to sleep with. You see? Are you guys getting me? And then after that, you feel like you're in hell. Because they've defiled you. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, I want to deliver you. Let me read what these guys are talking about. And then I take you through deliverance before I end the broadcast. He says, you are reminding me, this is France, he says, you are reminding me of my dream. I saw myself swimming in dirty water, in a lake or stagnant water. Two people came and started moving with me, with one on each of my side. And when I got out of the water, they said, we came to fetch you so that we can uh, go to optometry ball. They then carried me in a white car and we were moving away from the lake. I saw people having rough sex on the side of the lake. Meaning, please, those are spiritual spouses. Dirty water, spiritual spouses. Feces, spiritual spouses. Yeah? <laughs> you know, bed wetting, spiritual spouses. You know, there are people who are adults, but they wet their beds. That's called spiritual spouses. Wet dreams that scientists will tell you, oh, you're becoming a teenager, so it's okay to have wet dreams. No, the boy just had a de uh, sex with an evil spirit. Yeah? The body is made in a way that if you're not having sex, as a man, the semen and the sperms are absorbed back, to, back into your body. But if you have to copulate until you ejaculate in a dream, that is you having sex with an evil spirit. Oh my God. Yeah? yeah. So these are spiritual spouses. We cast them out in Jesus' name. I'm going to take it through deliverance tonight. Yeah? Glory to God. Yes, mucus. These are the spirits responsible for breathing problems like asthma, mm -hmm. coughing. They are responsible for viruses, HIV and AIDS, for example. Anything that is sexually transmitted or anything that affects your sexuality, mm -hmm. these same giants, okay? Maki Tess says, amen. Brand says, this is the best message this year. God bless you. I want to free you. There is no condemnation. What, you see, you didn't even know there were spirits causing you to act like this, you guys. Yeah? You didn't know there was a spirit making you dislike your wife. There was, you didn't know there was a spirit making you dislike your husband. 
you see them and you just get irritated. They make spouses irritated with each other. Yeah? yeah. They are the same spirit that bring bitterness and resentment, unforgiveness, jealousy. They are in charge of all emotional problems. Oh. These are the spirits responsible for terminal sicknesses yeah. like, like, like cancer, yeah. diabetes. Yeah. yeah. These are the same spirit that cause people to suffer dementia. Mm -hmm. You forget things as you grow older, you start forgetting even your own name. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? Forgetfulness. Yeah. These are the same spirit responsible for gluttony. You just can't stop eating. You can't stop drinking. Mm. They are responsible for all manner of addictions. Yeah. Because the Bible says the moment you're addicted like this, it's easy for the demons to use it. The Bible says when you take wine mm. in excess, in Proverbs 20, I think, that your eyes will start admiring strange women. Yeah. I remember a friend of mine telling me that the only way he knew he needed to go home from the club is when he started finding the bar maids very, very attractive. Then he knew he was extremely drunk. Mm. And the Bible says so. When you drink too much, you'll start finding strange women very attractive. Mm. Because the demons want you now to produce the seed so that you can have the seed of the serpent mm. implanted in the womb of the woman. Mm. And ladies and gentlemen, condoms don't stop these demons from being trans transmitted. Because it's a spiritual act. It's not really the physical act. So don't say, oh, but I used a condom, so I think I must have been protected from spiritual spouses. No! Ah, Jesus. Okay. Are you ready for deliverance? Yeah? In the book of John 20, verse 22. Just read for me John 20, 22 before I deliver these guys quickly. And I'll carry on with this topic next Wednesday, okay? So make sure you're there, you're there, you're there. This is what is making it hard for you to get a wife. It's making it for you uh, hard for you to get a husband. You wonder, why isn't anybody marrying me? Mm -hmm. People get attracted to me, but as soon as they get to know me, mm -hmm. for a few months, they leave me. A man says, but I get a good girlfriend. And then when we start getting serious, she just quits on me. Mm -hmm. And if you defeat that process and you actually get married, you find your spouse first has bleeds for two weeks. Her periods last 14 days, so you can't have sex. During that time, you are attracted to another woman. Are you getting that? Yeah. And when it's not about too much bleeding or painful menstrual cycle, cramps that, that you have to take medicine, painkillers, it's all spiritual spouses. Mm. If it is not that, you look at your spouse like this and you think you're dealing with a man. Mm. Now, someone else looks at her and thinks she's a beautiful woman. But the husband looks at her and thinks, this is a crazy man. She looks at the husband and feels irritated. Don't touch me. <laughs> you get that? Yeah. Spiritual spouses. Mm. Then you fight the whole night. You cannot sleep. It's just war. Mm. You disagree with the smallest thing. She sneezes too. I, it irritates you. Why are you sneezing like that? Why are you sneezing like that? The guy coughs. <coughs> You're coughing like a dog. What's wrong with this man? So it's war, war, war. You know? Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. cause you to pick a fight using the, you know, the smallest, the lamest of all excuses. Mm. Because they don't want a communion, mm. that holy communion, yeah. that companionship. Yeah. Giants must die tonight in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. Just read that for me. And, he, and when he had said this, yeah. he breathed on them. When he had said this, he breathed <sighs> on them. Uh -huh. And said unto them. And said unto them. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. So when he breathed unto them, they breathed <gasps> in and received the Holy Spirit. Mm. So you breathe in, the Bible says as it is in the natural, so is it in the spiritual. You breathe, you breathe in oxygen, you breathe out carbon dioxide, mm. the gases you don't need. And gas is a spirit. Mm. So you breathe in the Holy Ghost, breathe out the demon. So what I want you to do right now is breathe in and out vigorously like, <sighs> like that. As you breathe in, the Spirit of God enters you. As you breathe out, demonic spirits come out. And I'm focusing on these giants, these spiritual spouses, okay? Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Honey, I want you to be praying in tongues while we do this. Yeah? Yes. Glory to Jesus. Pali Eric Recon says, I've been following on YouTube. This is my first time with you on Facebook, and I'm loving it. Thank you so much for being available to us. God bless you, Pali. God bless you so very much. Happy to have you with us. Now, I want to deliver you. I want to cast out these demons that are making you immoral, that are making you fight your spouse, that are making it difficult for you to enjoy your marriage. They are making it difficult for you to enjoy your girlfriend or your boyfriend. It's always fights, always disagreement. You know, the cold treatment, you know? Cold treatment is depression. Going quiet on each other. Yeah. Depression. 
Mm. We want to talk to each other. We love each other. Why do you go quiet on each other? Because this demon is messing with you. Mm. So when you start breathing in and out, well, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. In my anointing as an apostle of God, full of the Holy Spirit, I'm commanding every spiritual spouse, spiritual wife, spiritual husband, products of giants to get out of your body right now. In the name of Jesus. Are you breathing it out? You'll start feeling heat all over you, especially in your tummy. Glory to God. These are the same demons that cause itches in people's um, sexual organs. They're the same ones that bring ur ur urinary tract infection, UTI. They're the same ones that cause all manner of sexually transmitted diseases. I cast you out in Jesus' name. Come out of God's people right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Come out. All spiritual spouses, spiritual husbands, spiritual wives. I declare war against you. I release that sentence against you. You're coming out of God's people right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now you continue breathing in and out. And make sure you do this every morning when you wake up. And before you go to sleep, deliver your own self. You say, you spiritual spouses, come out of my body. And just start breathing in and out vigorously. Until you start feeling dizzy. Then they're coming out of your body. You may feel like puking. Just go to the toilet and puke. Get it out. You may feel like diarrhea. Go to the toilet and get it out. Sometimes you suddenly feel bloated and you want to burp. Or you want to produce gas. Produce it. Sometimes you'll suddenly feel itches all over your scalp, all over your skin. They all come out that way. Glory to God. You may even feel suddenly a, a sense of anger. Because they are responsible for hot temper and anger and things like that. I cast them out of your body. In the mighty name of Jesus, be free right now. I declare war against all spiritual spouses. I paralyze them. I confuse them. I weaken them. I destroy their strongholds. I pull down their strongholds in Jesus' name. The power they use to protect themselves against the power of the Holy Ghost is removed. I remove the veil from them. I expose them to the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus. Be freed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's it. I want you to be doing that every day. You'll find your marriage getting better. Your relationship getting better. Those sexual desires are going to reduce until you are able to control your sexual desires. Until they become normal sexual desires. Not things that overwhelm you until you can't say no. Okay? You'll have normal desire the way God intended you to have. Okay? And you women, pain during menstrual circle. Ow! These are the same demons that bring, um, what, is, what is it called? PMS mm -hmm. and labor. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, same, same spirit. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Glory to Jesus. They also make you lose hair mm -hmm. and lose teeth. Mm -hmm. They are the same, same ones that cause people to lose teeth until all the teeth are gone. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to lose teeth even if you're 80 years old. You're not supposed to lose teeth. Amen. Your teeth must be intact in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. You get me? They're the same ones that cause people to lose their sight. Because mm. snakes are blind, remember? Mm. Snakes see with their tongues. Yes. They don't see with their eyes. Yes. Especially pythons. Pythons don't have eyes. Go and you do research right now. Go to Google and just type, do pythons see? They are all blind. Yeah? yeah. Their eyes, what you see as eyes, are just um, ornamental. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. But they navigate using their tongues. Mm. Yeah? yeah, these are the same same spirit that brings sexual perversion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, glory to God. Now, if you're watching me and you're not saved, Jesus is not your Lord and Savior. Please say this prayer after me so that you may know Jesus, so that you're no longer the seed of the serpent, you become the seed of God who qualifies to be delivered. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Ah, Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you're the Son of God. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again for my justification and my acquittal. Today, I receive you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I receive eternal life in my spirit. I'm now born from above. I'm born anew. I am saved. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. If you pray that prayer, you are saved. Now you can be delivered. And you can do self-deliverance on yourself. You don't have to come to me. You don't have to see a prophet all that. I'm all man of God deliver me. Do it yourself. You have authority. The Bible says anyone who is saved has authority to cast out demons. Mm -hmm. And start with these spiritual spouses. Mm -hmm. And cast them out of your children too. They're the ones that make your children cry and cry and cry. They make your children throw tantrums. You go to the supermarket and they hold on to something and you have to buy it because they are crying and embarrassing you in front of everybody. You cast out that demon. Your kids will be so peaceful. Yeah, 
and they'll sleep well. There's nobody who said that if you give birth to a child, you can't sleep in the night. Yeah, yeah. cast the demon out of that child, they'll sleep for 12 straight hours. Mm -hmm. They'll only wake up to circle, back to sleep. I'm promising you, these things will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Francis, his head and mind is spinning. Yes, that's deliverance. Afele says, Amen, powerful message. God bless you, my dear. Please share this. Let people be delivered. Let people be helped. I'm going to be doing deliverance daily. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm so angry with the old spirit right now. They are messing families up. Destroying beautiful marriages. You are such a good man. Working so hard. And then you go home, it's fight. And you've been working the whole day. Some men work the whole night. They come home with money. It's, it's war. Some women work two jobs. They come home, it's war. These are the spirits that are causing so much trouble amongst black Americans. Yeah? Yeah. So that you, you find a man has divorced the first wife, mm. but he has four kids with that one. Divorced the second one, three kids. Divorced the third one, four kids. He has kids all over. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. It's easy for the man to make a woman pregnant, but it's not easy for him to keep a marriage. Mm. So he has kids everywhere. Mm. Unable to hold on to one woman. Yeah. And the woman feels repelled. That she doesn't want to come close to you. As soon as they've had sex like this and a woman is pregnant like this, the woman wants to run away from the man. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. This is what causes a lot of women who really want to belong. They want to be in a family setting. But they're single mothers. Yeah. But when we cast these demons out of your body, and when you continue with this program of deliverance, let's do this thing for six months and see how beautiful you're going to look. You're not going to age. Mm. They make women look old. Yeah. They make men also wrinkled and look old. Mm. Do you see? Yeah. Oh my God, you're free in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So share this. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Beryl says, can you deliver your spouse from it? Yes, you can. How do you deliver your spouse from it? By delivering yourself. If you free yourself, that, because you're one. Remember that two is, you're no longer two but one. Yeah. What delivers me, delivers my wife. Amen. All right? So when you're sleeping with your spouse, when you're fast asleep and you put your hand on your spouse like this, that anointing in your life will drive those demons out. And when you make a meal and present it, that meal will be spiritual food. Mm -hmm. The moment they eat it like this, those demons start coming out of their lives. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So, Beryl, I hope that helps you. Yeah? Hallelujah. And <laughs> Fran says something like a snake <laughs> just entered my room. No, it didn't enter. You saw it leaving. <laughs> it was all over, but now it's leaving in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Fran says, thank you, Apostle, for bringing us this timely deliverance. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Please keep doing that for yourself daily. Don't wait for me. Do it daily for yourself. And teach your children. I do that for my children. Mm -hmm. Every time before you go to sleep, I get my wife and my children, we talk in tongues for a few minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. Then I tell my family members now, breathe in and out. All the, the children should see them breathing in and out. Because these demons, you're born with them. Yeah. Before you get saved, they're in you. Mm -hmm. Okay? They came from Adam. Mm -hmm. Those daughters of Adam that the, the angel slept with. Yeah. That's, that's how they came. And then Noah, mm -hmm. during a crazy occurrence between Noah and, and, uh, and Ham. Yeah. Yeah? And then they started the Kushites now. That's where the giants returned. The ones that were killed now, the giants were born again. Mm -hmm. Some, um, what was his name? Goliath had four brothers yeah. that were giants. Mm -hmm. They were all killed by the Israelites. You are going to be the one killing the last giant that mm -hmm. has been messing up with your family in the mighty name of Jesus. It is you hearing this message that's going to rescue your marriage. You're going to rescue your husband. You're going to rescue your wife. You're going to rescue your 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 generation, mm. so that from you onwards, these demons can no longer see light of day. Amen. I delivered myself from these things too. Mm. Every morning, I'd wake up early in the morning at 3 a.m. and <gasps> breathing in and out. And I'm telling you, mine was a war. Sometimes I'd literally feel like I'm being lifted up, off the bed, up into the, the air. Mm. But I never gave up. It was scary though. I used to feel so afraid. But I would cast them out until I became free. That's how I know them. I've dealt with them myself. Okay? Mm. Oh, Jesus. Wonderful. You're wonderful. 
Amen. Yeah, it looks like the more I did deliverance, the more people are joining. <laughs> there are more people online now, yeah. and I'm finishing. <laughs> I've already prayed for the prayer of salvation. Yeah. By the way, the prayer of salvation is not the sinner's prayer. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's the prayer of becoming a child of God. Yeah, yeah. it's not the sinner's prayer because a person who is not saved mm. is not a sinner. They're dead. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not a sinner. You're dead. You don't. You don't exist. So the moment you get saved, now you become a child of God, full of life. Mm. You see? Yeah. Remember Adam and Eve died yeah. because of the serpent. Yeah. And then Jesus came and brought salvation. Mm. Even Adam got saved yeah. and resurrected with Jesus. When Jesus resurrected and the tombs were opened, remember? Mm-hmm. Remember at three o'clock when, when there was darkness and the Bible says tombs were opened yeah. and people who had died came out. Jesus went and preached to them salvation according to the book of Peter. And then they, the Bible says they appeared to many. Wow. And when Jesus ascended, they ascended with him and went to heaven. Mm. Adam, all the way to Abraham. Mm. I just hope Judas, who, who betrayed Jesus, mm. got saved too. God is compassionate and merciful. Mm. Amen. So please do this deliverance daily. Mm. Every day. You'll be amazed. Your money will return. You'll find your family. People are agreeing again. Mm. There's peace again at home. Mm. You'll find that you're loving your spouse again where you are not seeing eye to eye anymore, just deliver yourself. As you deliver yourself, your family will be free in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys so very much. Yeah? Baby, what do you tell these wonderful people? We love you so much. I want to thank you, honey, for letting God just speak to you. The words that we're hearing are such fresh revelation, fresh manna from heaven. We we thank God so much and it's helpful. And for the deliverance, we thank you so much. May God mightily bless you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Coming from my baby, those blessings are powerful. I love you. <laughs> love you so very much. Thank yeah. You. Okay, guys. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. We're going to have a Zoom conference tomorrow. So I'll be texting some of you here. So, Mr. Franz, you get ready. Yeah. Mr. Bula, get ready. We'll, we'll be doing a Zoom conference. That means you'll be appearing on our screen. Okay, we'll show you how. Okay, and Daisy, get ready. Okay, yeah, we'll be we'll be having you guys ask questions live. Wow! So prepare all your questions, especially this topic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, it's easy. Just use your mobile phone. Okay, the way you usually watch us, but this time round, we're going to cause you to enter into the boardroom. Okay, mm-hmm. so that the screen will be split. Mm-hmm. And you'll be there using your earphones and we'll be talking. So you'll ask your questions live and we'll be answering them live, okay? Mm. So I'm going to text you more details tonight, all right? So if you want to be part of the conference, please let us know. Uh, Mr. Nzomo, how many people can we have? As many as possible. As many as possible. So if you want to be part of our conference tomorrow so that you ask questions live instead of typing them, Mm -hmm. then please inbox me. You all have my number. My number is there. It's on my Facebook page. So you just WhatsApp me and then we can give you all the details. Then tomorrow, because I'll be, we'll be dealing with revision. Mm -hmm. Instead of dealing with revision, I'm going to have you guys online. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be asking your questions, making contributions, Mm -hmm. especially asking questions concerning the topics we've taught. Like today's topic, we can still revise it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or Sunday's topic, the one on the graces of God. Yes. But I'm going to be dealing with the graces, the different favors of God, one by one on Sunday. So next Sunday, we're dealing with hand favor. I'm going to give you as many scriptures as possible so that we deal with all these 12 favors, mm-hmm. one by one until you fully understand them. But tomorrow you can be asking your questions mm-hmm. and we'll be happy to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys so very much. Enjoy your evening or your day. <laughs> oh, fresh saliva in your mouth now, Francis. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, Wycliffe is waving. God bless you. So happy to have you with us. Guys, may you just have a wonderful time. We love you. Remain delivered. Please inbox me if you want to be part of our panel tomorrow so that we can send you uh, the link you click on. Okay? Blessings. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.